Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Steph AB TV. Welcome to another video. And of course, in this video, we're exploiting the new exhaust system on this car. And is it too loud? That's the key question. Because I've had this car with the new exhaust for a little over a week now. I've had a bit of time to digest it, understand what its pros, what its cons are. And uh, yeah, today I'm gonna give you some nice exhaust clips, a couple of revs, some drive-bys, and basically talk about this kind of sports cat and cross pipe setup that we have on the 124 Spider now. It does sound mega. It does sound mega, but it, but it doesn't always sound mega. And that's something I want to be very clear on as well. Listen to this acceleration. <laughs> it does sound absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. And I do really enjoy the sound of it at a higher RPM. I think that's where it sounds its best. It really screams. We get a lot more pops out the back as well. Those kind of high end kind of dumps of fuel into the exhaust, which give it that screaming noise. See that? For the rev matching and the heel and toe, it just sounds even better. Oh. It's almost like every single time now on demand, when we hit that higher RPM in second gear and change, we get a nice kind of pop. Driving it hard is one thing and you're always going to enjoy that but what about when you don't want to drive it hard and you just want to drive it normally what's it going to sound like so we're going to do a little bit of driving now kind of at what you would normally drive at in terms of kind of low rpm just so you can have a listen and bear in mind that this is the uh, the exhaust uh, sorry the roof is down so everything is a little bit more enhanced my only qualm with this exhaust setup at the moment. Now bear in mind that I have my Monza exhaust with the valve completely open, it's seized open. Um, now if you have a normal exhaust, I don't think you'll get the same problem that I'm getting now. It's not really a problem, it's just something that, I don't know, I guess from a sound perspective just sounds a bit too raspy for me. Um, it's, a, it's a really small, it's a really small percentage in the power band which is probably around about between 2000 RPM and 3000 RPM. And it's pretty much when this car hits its boost. Once it hits boost, you do get this kind of pop of um, exhaust gases out of the exhaust. And it does sound just a tiny bit farty. Not much, not enough for me to go, oh my God, that sounds terrible. But you'll hear it here, listen. You hear that? Just a tiny bit, but the moment I get over three and a half, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. So, if you have a Monza exhaust and the valve works, I think you'll be all right because the valve opens up when the boost pressure kicks in, which is at around about two and a half thousand RPM. So I do need to probably try and fix that valve. On a cold start, as you heard earlier on, it's actually not that bad. It really isn't that bad. And also now, you know, I'm doing 30 mile an hour fourth gear. It's very, very drivable. drivable it's only really on the full chat that this car this exhaust really comes alive and it just screams because it's pretty much almost a straight pipe with the Monza but the, oh that sounds so good but normal driving it's actually it's really it's fine it really is fine second gear put to floor kid again it does have some asbo vibes this car now but what about on a motorway now i'm not going to jump on a motorway. i'm going to give you a simulation as to what this would sound like on a motorway i'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it because of the wind noise but on a motorway in the 124 spider you're probably sitting at around about just under 3000 rpm so if i simulate that in third fourth sorry even there you go this is 3000 rpm it's all right 
isn't it? Which is one of my worries that I had with this car when I put the exhaust on is, would it be too much for something like a road trip? Would it be too loud to drive every day? And actually, in every condition, other than when you put it up through full chat and open the throttle up, it is very drivable. So I would recommend this, but I would recommend this probably with a Monza exhaust that isn't seized open. It sounds so good on downshifts as well. Oh, so good on downshifts. this I like this a lot okay so I guess to summarize really in fact no we'll park up to summarize that but I'm just trying to think have I covered all the times that, well all the angles of driving um yeah I mean look you know if, if you drive this half open throttle like this it pretty much just sounds like the old Monza exhaust it is freezing today by the way as you can see I've got my scarf a full full jacket on and I'm still still struggling just a little bit here but for me, where this car is completely obnoxious and completely asbo is that first and second gear full chat acceleration. I'll give you one now. The other thing which also you do notice a lot now with this, and I think it's a really good thing, and I love that about this exhaust, is just the amount of turbo whistle you get. definitely hear a lot of turbo whistle now and I don't know if you'll be able to hear that but it really really does sound good like just as you kind of get from the 500s or the 595s uh, with a Monza exhaust and maybe a remap or so you get that beautiful whistling noise and I do like that I do like that a lot that is the only part of this sound that I'm not like a hundred percent sold on this bit here It's just a little raspy but so there are options out there of how you could fix this obviously first one is get a monza exhaust that works the second one is for something like a ragazon exhaust i think is uh, an exhaust out there which is valved i think valved is something uh, that is very good is going to be very much desirable in a car that's got a decat or a sport cat very similar to what happened when i had my above 595 competizione when i had the um, the decat with the turbo conversion um, and i put a silencer in the middle it was still too loud so i ended up getting a power motive and that was on a monza as well so it does make sense the monza exhaust is generally a very loud exhaust it's just a straight through exhaust but if you were to for example get a valve exhaust on this it would resolve every problem you get and you get the best of both worlds you get very quiet driving and very loud driving when you want it but i mean look even now it's going to sick look you can drive this very quietly you know, I can have a civil conversation with you guys. I can have a conversation with my wife and we're going on a road trip. So it's not completely balls out crazy, you know, just in case you're thinking about getting this done. But what it will do is it will kind of prompt you to drive a little bit different in like built up areas where in the past you might have well have put your foot down and it wouldn't have blown the windows out of someone's house. This will, this will definitely blow the windows out of someone's house now. So you do have to be careful. So then guys, if we have to summarize, is my exhaust far too loud? In terms of kind of normal drivability, I think it's okay, it's manageable. I think the cold start is bearable. Um, in terms of full load, um, it's it sounds amazing. I really love how it sounds. It gives it so much more character. For anybody thinking of getting this set up, if you like, um, I got it from abarthtuning.com and that is the sports cat and the cross pipe. Uh, and A4 Alpha and Aylesbury fitted it for me. Um, but i really like it i mean i've always been one to enjoy asbo cars and i think this now is definitely up there with a bit more asbo now the next thing that we need to do with this thing is effectively get it remapped so um yeah as soon as the lockdown ends uh, and i'll be able to get hold of a windows laptop then i'll upload the map 
to this car. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video of the exhaust and some sound clips and drive-bys. Uh, please make sure to subscribe for plenty more content. If you haven't done already, my name is Seth. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you all very soon on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.